Atlanta against Ascension Trinity, the second round. Ascension Trinity did a great job in that first game, getting a sweep, if I'm not mistaken. But this game on the B stream, I am joined by Dennis. Say hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, I have to correct you on that one. It was a 4 1 win for Trinity, oh, but still, it is a very convincing win for them. You know, having the, having that win already in hand from round round, and now here they are be or about to uh, play against. The, uh, the unbeaten ROV Esports from the other conference, Division 1.1. The 7-0 in league play, 15 games won, only one game lost. Well, that is a very good team for them so far. But now they are here in the semi-final, be or about to play against one of the, maybe the, one of the, the strongest team teams of this Division 1. Of course, they are already in top four being in the semi-final. But definitely, Assassin's Trinity, they are a very good team, but so is ROV Esports. It is going to be a tough one. You did mention RV Esports were undefeated in their conference. But Ascension Trinity did prove in their last series just how much they deserve and want this win. So, in terms of how we think uh, this is going to go, who wants to start? Do you think I should hmm. or should you? Ladies first. I mean, hmm, yeah, then you go first. If, if that's the case, Ketsa, go say. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, we have uh, RV Esports against Ascension Trinity. In terms of what I've seen and what I've heard of, although RV Esports have um, done extremely well in league play, um, Ascension Trinity have just 4 one their team previous, so they're warm and ready to take this win. And I think it's going to them. That's twice, um, by the way. I've gone against ILV when I shouldn't. But who's going to stop me? Hmm. Oh, well, maybe uh, the ROV board by kicking you, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> they could never. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, right, you know, uh, Ascens and Trinity, they are a very good team. Of course, we've seen them in the Division 1.0. And in the end, they only lost against We Vicious in, I think, I believe, the very last week of league play. Um, so, yeah, the very last week of league play, they lost with 3 against We Vicious. But nevertheless... If we have a look on the roster of Ascension Trinity, it's Havoc, Hodge, and Jazz. And if, yeah, you know, Hodge, he peaked 1900s, and then being here in Division 1, that is, you know, that's a very good player for uh, Division 1 standards. It's one of the favorites going into this Division 1, really keen to take the title, but so is um, our Esports. I would still go for Assassin Trinity, though. I still think mm -hmm. that they are a bit better the side here. I know from scrims they are a very good uh, side. Um, I've um, scrimmed with um, with my Champions Division team, the team I'm managing. I know they've had a really hard time playing against them as well, um, who is now in the Champions Division playoffs. So that's uh, that's really a statement they're making there. Uh, I think they're really keen to you know go into the Champions Division at least, and you know hopefully. Uh, for them, they will go into the final. But I think we just have all the players in the lobby now. I think uh, we just don't have to wait any longer. I think it's just time to get into the very first game of this very good series. Our V, the unbeaten team so far in this season of ECC against Ascension Trinity. Maybe the favorites here. Have a good watch. And game one is about to get underway. A close series, potentially. <laughs> All is to play for. The next team that wins goes up against either We Vicious, or unless I'm unless I'm completely wrong, which I'm, I'm probably am. Um, uh, wait, am I? Might be. No, I, th I think it's the second. I think this is no, no. the second it, stage, is there not? Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's uh, the, no. yeah, the win. The winner no, of this yeah, the winner, will play. The winner of this will go up against either We Vicious or Glasgow yes. Storm. And the losers will uh, battle it out between each other of those four teams mentioned. Uh, needless to say, an early goal happens here from Verki after getting demoed. Good opportunity and chance taken. Yeah, Jazz pushing up too too much forward there. Was too late with the challenge. Leaves the goal wide open and Verki will get the very first goal of this series. As so, yeah, we are uh, again in the best of seven series. A mental reset for at least the Ascension Trinity side, who just came out of a 4-1 win, but now they they need to have the a mental reset again. They are in the best of seven, a very long day for them. Well, at least if they win this one, then they still have another best of seven. But now they are 1-0 down here in this game one, but uh, it's only one goal. It's only game one, so everything can happen still. The ball played to the backboard. 
Havoc misses. Jez takes a beautifully placed shot with a good and well-deserved equalizer. Yeah, a very good goal from Jez after we saw... Well, we can call the fake from Havoc and then Jez just uh, gets it past Mackie in the goal. And in the end, a good shot that is and it's all equalized here. One minute in and as I already said, it can go anyway as Andrew Trinity. Good goal and Jez uh, will definitely take that goal to his side. Uh, Hodge <clears throat> has the opportunity. Mackie placing that on his own backboard. Jez taking the opportunity. Perky <clears throat> hits it high. Mackie doesn't get... Oh, does get the 50. Yeah, pardon me. Jez whiffing. So unfortunately there. And Mackie getting that 50-50 goal to keep them in the lead. I think no one on the pitch expected that. It snorted us, but uh, well, it is a second for our V Sports. It is Mackie with the goal. Jess with a really unfortunate save, should have saved that maybe, but it is a second for our V Sports. Doing a really good job so far in game one. Only one and a half minutes in, there's still three and a half minutes of game time, of regular game time. And well, it can go anyway. It's Ascension Trinity trying to come back in offense. They have the capability to score a lot of goals, I know. And well, everything can happen. Three minutes and 20 seconds still to be played. And it is now Ascension Trinity trying to get a second goal to their, to their end. Hodge taps this into the center. Faxi getting a comfortable save. Jez clearing this into the midfield. Mackie with a brilliant clear opportunity now. Faxi misses. Havoc keeps on pushing. Mackie getting a good uh, 50. Faxi now with the opportunity to pass this into the center, delaying it. Hodge with the demo. Jez still unable to read the um, pop from Faxi, I believe. Very unfortunate there. An opportunity again falls into the center. Jez, can he take it? Center of the net. Mac Mackie getting the comfortable save, it seemed. Jez had a lot of power on it, but unfortunately didn't quite get the placement he wanted. Yeah, now so far it's been Albert Eastport trying to get the offense, trying to get that third goal. And well, oh, uh, I can say, you know, it's been quite an unlucky game for Jess and a lucky game. He has scored a goal, but uh, the two goals he, uh, as I trained, he got scored on were pretty much, you know, the mistakes for Jess being too much upwards or the second goal where he whiffed the ball. Or he can definitely, you know, get back in the series. I know he's a very good player. But yeah, it's now as ILV Esports getting the third goal and Assassin Trinity having a really hard task against them. Verki getting that beautiful angle, popping it high. Havoc facing the wrong way in terms of his positioning there. It wasn't the best. Does result in ILV securing that third goal. Will they continue just as strong? Or will Ascension Trinity manage to turn it around? Hodge having that opportunity, unfortunately missing. Havoc get a, got a beautiful shot, just saved unfortunately. And Hodge now to place this into the center. Faxi getting the 50. Ball again. Jez taps it over one. Mackie takes his pass, but Hodge is already there. Has the opportunity to dunk Faxi. A brilliant job there. Has an opportunity on goal. Almost took it, couldn't quite get it, and Verki gets this clear. Yeah, 3-1 lead, it still is in this game, one of the best of 7 series. 4-1 maybe, no, Jazz with a great save, trying to get an offense now. Hodge just plays the ball upfield, trying to get the goal on their end, but it just does not work out. They have the chances, they just can't convert those into goals, and it's more obvious, but they just need to control the, the, the ball now, the possession they have. Don't let anything pass and in the end just secure this one minute without any go against. They can get a go against, but definitely not another one. Uh, should be doable, but as I said, Trinity, a very good and strong offensive side. And they uh, have 47 seconds still for the Assassin Trinity side to secure this game onto an overtime. Mackie takes it high, hits it to the side dangerously. <clears throat> Jess able to take this into the center. No one's there other than Mackie getting the clear. Hodge with a nice shot. Nurki clearing it out. Jez, beautifully placed shot again. A goal behind. 30 seconds remaining. Can they pull it back? Jez with his second of the game already. Really good goal from him. Just Yeah, that's a really good shot. Just in the top corner. Gets the goal and just fights back with a sense in Trinity against our VE Sports. Still 28 seconds left to at least score one goal. Can we get... Can we see the hat trick of Jess? Can we see at least a goal for Assassin Trinity? They really want to, and we see them now in offense. 
Arj keeps it high. Jez leaving it, being patient. Managing to beat Faxi. Ball falls to Havoc. It's the opportunity. Doesn't quite take it. Jez takes the shot. Faxi misses. Vicky just reaching it. Hodge getting the equalizer with a second remaining. Yeah, they just struggled in defense there. I don't know what uh, what Faxi did there. Verky just got caught off guard, just safe still. But then in the end, it was Hodge getting the third for Assassin Trinity. And Trinity really happy with that. But there is, uh, you, you know, Assassin Trinity in, um, you know, going into overtime probably. It's a great comeback from them being 3-1 down. And now it is a 3-0. They will be very happy with that, but uh, it's only one goal separates them from a game now. Havoc keeps it into the center. Like you mentioned, it's only one goal in it. Mackey hitting this forward. Hodge hitting it to the side. Passes it down. Jez gets the shot and wins them a first game with a hat-trick. Well done to Jez. I already said, Jess, you know, can he get the hat trick? He can indeed. Not in regular time. He needed the help of, Je of Hodge with one second left. But Jess is there with the hat trick. Great play by him. Great goal. And as in Trinity will take this game on. Well, it didn't go as planned. But in the end, they just secured it over LV Esports. Maybe they underestimate LV Esports. Because LV Esports, they've shown us why you know why they went unbeaten they've done a very good job against a strong side like assassin trinity but assassin trinity in the end secured this game to an overtime and in the end winning it all game one is to assassin trinity but it's the best of seven series and it already started very good such a close first game if that's how these are all gonna be we're in for a long journey ahead of us so, i don't know how this will work if if Ascension Trinity managed to just take these next few games by storm, we will have to see Faxi getting us in the center. Virki is there, keeps it high. No one able to reach it. Faxi again. A pass to the center. What a passing play from ILV. Yeah, a great passing play from ILV. Just uh, the play of Tri Trinity a bit too slow there. Just pushing out of the out of his goal, going for the ball. So did Hodge. Hodge went for the ball as well, double commit, but in the end it is LV Esports getting the very first goal of this game too. And now it is um, it's Trinity again losing in this game, but they need to pick up the offense now. They need to get some goals on their end now. So only 20 seconds in, they still have the time of the world here, but uh, yeah, everything can happen in this game too. Mackey hits it into the center. Jez hits it forward. Is anyone there? Jez almost gets the dunk. Faxi clears his upfield. Hodge to Havoc. Misses and Faxi passes it into the center. Jez, good control. Dangerous though. Hodge managing to take it around with Mackey. Verki playing it to Faxi. Plays it into the center. Havoc getting the backboard read. Very well done. A pass from Mackey. Verki couldn't get there. Hodge with a good clear upfield. Ball rolls into the center. Jez, the first one to it, takes a shot. Matthew with a comfortable save. Hodge, opportunity. Tries to take a pass, gets a good 50. Jez needs to push. Does get beat, however. Hodge passes it to Havoc. Havoc can't quite get the read he wants. Hodge, can he get to the ball in time? Hits it high, hits it down. Jez getting the read, unfortunately hitting the crossbar. So unfortunate for them there. Yeah, it looked like an open net, but in the end there was a save from Faxi. And it looks like Assassin's Trade really pick up the pace now, really pick up the offense, trying to get the goal to their side. They're of course one up behind this game too. We saw them last game being two goals behind. It's definitely a team that can come back, but they need to keep up the pace like they're doing now. Don't slow down and definitely not leaving the net open. We saw that a few times. Mackie will get his second goal and uh, definitely a uh, good lead for our Vina. Faxi with a nice pop. Mackie just taking a shot, knowing no one was in net. No one could get back in time. They're now two goals ahead, three minutes remaining. They re Ascension Trinity really do need to step up. Last game, they were a goal down, managed to pull it back. I wonder, or there were a few goals down, sorry, managed to pull it back. I wonder if they can do it again this time. Three minutes. ILV are expecting something similar to the last game. They're now just going to try and make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah, they were definitely trying to not let that happen. But yeah, right now it is Assassin Trinity trying to keep up the offense. They need to score 
Oh yeah, you can't leave the net open. I just said they need to they need to get the offense going, being one goal behind. If indeed leave the net so open too much, then you get scored on by ILV right now. But it's half time past. Two goals still leads for ILV Esports, and they're trying to be having a hard time in this game too. Biggie popping it high, having it bounce down. Mackie reaches, beats one, beats another, gets demoed. However, Faxi trying to beat Havoc doesn't work out. Jez. Pushing this forward, Virky almost getting a pump on his teammate unintentionally. Have a getting the shot open net this time for ILV, and it results in a 2 1. Ascension Trinity getting a good goal there. Yeah, a goal for Trinity again. They are coming back with their defense from ILV Esports, causing this goal against them. But it is the comeback masters, Assassin Trinity, striking again. Only with one goal, though. Two minutes left for them to uh, complete the comeback. But they gotta be careful. They can't concede now. Of the Esports still trying to score, but Trinity really a uh, good start for them to make a comeback in this game too. Faxi beating Havoc keeps it in the Ascension Trinity half. Ball falls down. Havoc with a good read. Virky passing it across. Aki. Unable to get a center shot, but again, Jez getting a very clutch moment there, and this time it was a save. I believe that was Faxi taking the shot, or it was uh, Mackie Park, I can't remember, but it was a brilliant one at that. Same with the save. Havoc managing to get the 50. Hodge keeping it upfield. Good demo from Hodge. Jez couldn't get the angle he wanted. Havoc. Plays it into the center almost to himself, and the ball stays even. Yeah, one goal only, but it is a very important lead for our of the esports now. One minute left, trying to defend what they can. We just saw a good offense from ILV, but then a great save from Jazz. Now, uh, uh, Assassin Trinity trying to get out of defense, trying to get the goal on their side. It doesn't really happen though, they can't really create chances now. Really unfortunate, but 45 seconds is just for our esports to take this game to their end and equalize it in this series. It is now just going up, hoping that our teammate can follow it up as he has no boost. But yeah, they gotta just off that now. 30 seconds left, and our esports, they probably will just stick in defense now the upcoming 30 seconds. There is no time to waste for Ascension Trinity. Mackie almost getting a double touch there. A brilliant angle from Faxi. Doesn't quite get the, uh, the shot in the net. 15 seconds. Ascension Trinity need to do everything that they can to score a goal. A demo has, been, <laughs> has happened. Faxi getting the save. Hodge trying to center it. It's not enough. Mackie hitting it out. And Jez, awkward tap. It just bounces down. No one could reach it, it's tied up already. All tied up and we are now witnessing a best of five series about to come up. Assassin Trinity, well, they've made a kind of a comeback, but it was just not enough. They came one goal back, they had the offense, they had shots. But yeah, with shots, they don't mean they are goals. They are now all tied up in this series with our Esports. Our Esports definitely a good side and that definitely showed in this game as well. They're just a solid team, very hard to beat. Also, just with the 50s, they're just really um, yeah, hard to beat in um, in defense as well. And in the end, Assassin Trinity with the start, couldn't really get past the defense of our Esports. But now we are in game three, both teams tied up with one game. So let's see how this game three will go. Virky getting an opportunity at a double touch. Havoc getting that block. Jez again with a nice save. Uh, Hodge clearing this to Havoc. Couldn't quite get the shot off. Another center ball. Jez goes up. Hits it to the side. Hodge passes it to Havoc. A brilliant passing play. Unfortunately there, Havoc just hits it the wrong way. Doesn't quite get his car around the ball. Ends up shooting it wide. It was a great play, Hodge with a great pass, but unfortunately, Havoc couldn't really get a finish in touch. But yeah, it's uh, now back and forth play, it looks like Alva Esports. Stray from defense, goes into offense, and well, we saw a few demo plays already from Alva Esports on the defense of Ascension Trinity. It's, uh, maybe it's that tactic, you know, get the players of Ascension Trinity a bit, um, you know, a bit mad after those um, after, after those uh, demos but again we see an all open net and in the end both will fall in i think like 75 percent of the goals 
that RV Esports have scored are because of open nets and over commits of Assassin Trinity. Hodge rotates back, not fast enough. Havoc is there as well. I think Jez was the one to commit for it. I'm concerned on how their rotation is working in this first in this third game of the series. It's, it's led the it's led to that goal. It's led to a few goals before. Will it cause them any more damage? Havoc getting a comfortable save, getting demoed by Verki. Vaxi keeping this high. Jez reads it well. Verki keeps this to the side. Mackie able to tap it. Vaxi needing to turn and time the positioning. And clear well doesn't work. Un unfortunately, Hodge there managed to get the pass. Unfortunately, though, um, ended up blocking Jez's shot. Gave away an opportunity there. Not much he could have really done. So we'll have to hope that they manage to get themselves another one in this last three minutes. Yeah, definitely. They are one go down now, but they are kind of struggling in defense. Well, Jazz is awkward, needs to get a hit, he does indeed, and now it is uh, Assassin Trinity trying to get out of their half, trying to get the offense going. They really need it, still three minutes though, a lot of time for both teams, but definitely it's Assassin Trinity, they need to push, because they have had a good first game, and now they're here in game three, trying to get a goal, and they and eventually they will get the goal, Jazz equalizes in this game. Faxi doing a brilliant job of getting this first save. Lands perfectly to get the second. Doesn't roll or get in a perfect, a good enough position to clear it out and ends up putting it in the top corner with Jez taking that shot, making it equal. Have a, uh, Hodge, the opportunity to pass it into the center. Leaves it for Havoc. Awkward play. Seems like a misplay from the opposition. Ends up being an ungoal in the show. Yeah, I think that here it was Hodge uh, doing a really good job, but in the end, in oh, indeed, yes. it was Faxi getting the own goal. And uh, Assassin Trinity in a matter of seconds up now with one goal. Great play by Hodge, but in the end, unfortunate for Faxi. But yeah, it is now um, Alvi Esports who's losing half time fast, and Assassin Trinity doing a good job in this game three. Jez with a pass to Hodge, doesn't manage to reach it. Mackie now on control. Takes it around Hodge with a beautiful flick, almost around Havoc as well. Havoc two touches. Faxi takes it around one. Hodge needing to get this hit, missing. Jez forced to go for it. Demo from Hodge, can't quite get the other. Faxi clearing this to the side, rolls to the Hodge with control, leaves it for Havoc. Faxi tries to go for a demo as well. Verki hitting us into the center dangerously. Jez and Havoc both there. Has the opportunity. Faxi unable to reach. Jez, can he get the double touch? Just ever so slightly missing a glorious goal that could have been to put them two goals ahead. Havoc missing and hitting it wide. It seems like Jez is going for an attempt. Number two doesn't have enough boost again. So unfortunate for Ascension there. Yeah, now we saw Hodge being very patient in defense. So he got the goal covered. Of the offense of Trinity, that's what you like to see. Just no overcommits because we've saw some goals already happening for RB Esports because of overcommit of Assassin Trinity. So they look like they have fixed that problem now. And they are in the lead here, and uh, yeah, RB Esports trying to get a goal. But definitely, it's Assassin Trinity being a really solid team. It's really hard to beat them, but so is RB Esports. Now it is Assassin Trinity. They are in offense again. Hot just does not have enough boost to complete the flip reset. And with one minute to go, it's RV Esports being one go down in game three. Hodge doing a good job of pushing that into the back corner. Mackie to Verki, almost over Jez. Havoc takes this into the center. Mackie getting a comfortable save, but Hodge is there. Verki tries to clear. Mackie getting the bump on Jez. Really targeted him there. Put himself out of position. They really do need to capitalize. Otherwise, there is only Mackie in defense. Havoc. Good control, beautiful flick around almost Verki, but he managed to get a brilliant save at that. Hodge playing it into the center, Mackie almost getting dunked by him. Havoc to Hodge, no, leaves it, and Jess, the one to shoot, just unable to change the trajectory of the ball enough, putting them still a goal ahead, but it still leaves space for the equalizer, Jez hits this onto the backboard, zero seconds, Mackie keeps it up, Verki takes it around one, 
Hodge going for the demo gets demoed, but Ascension Trinity take this next game. Yeah, very good game from Trinity in the end. Just, you know, securing that win, securing the 2-1 lead. And, uh, well, it was uh, quite awkward for all the eSports. They did not have many shots. And uh, in the end, you know, it was pretty back and forth. But all the eSports was just, you know, in the end, um, they could not create any chances. Well, four, four shots, one goal in the end. But Ascension Trinity doing a really good job in this game three, winning it as well. And, uh, well... If, uh, if they win now, they're on match point about to go to the final, which probably will be against We Vicious if I look at the A stream. We Vicious at the moment are 3 0 up in the series against Glasgow Storm in the other semi final. And well, this series is a lot closer. Assassin Trinity just won this game, but yeah, it can go anyway. Still, RV Esports can still uh, equalize this series, would mean that we go to a best of three then. But yeah, it is a very interesting series so far. Assassin Trinity doing a really good job in Game 3. Can they keep it up in Game 4? Or will RLV Esports securing the equalizer in series in Game 4? It is going to be a close one. They have the potential to put themselves... Uh, if, wait, hang on. Brain fart. It's 2-1 now. Game 4, we hit. Yeah, they, No, I, I was right. Yes. Pardon me. My, I did I did have a brain fart, but I fired the wrong way around somehow. Um, they have match point potential. It is going to be a close game. I wonder who everyone is voting for this series. You, you've heard ours. You've heard our predictions. Um, we both think Ascension Trinity are going to take this. They are proving why they could, but I want to see what everyone in chat thinks. Needless to say, Verky takes this forward. Shares with a good touch. Verky again, swiftly able to reach it. Both Mackie and Havoc miss. Faxi with an opportunity. Hodge getting the block. Jez to Havoc. Tries to take it around Verky. So, so close with that. Verky able to get there. Hits it down. Mackie getting the shot. Blocked by Jez. Verky again off the backboard. Hodge missing. A shot from Faxi going in. Yeah, bumpy in the defense there in Ascension Trinity. I think it was on Havoc. Verky with a great bump. Putting the last man out of the net it was in the end just just too slow to get a clear to get the save and it is faxi getting the very first goal of this game for full of esports great goal great team play and well right now we see the second goal Mackie straight from the kickoff gets a second for of esports Mackie did a brilliant job with that 50 and it was incredibly fast to be fair Unfortunately, no one from Ascension could reach it in time. It does result in that 2-0, with it being in a matter of a minute. Who are going to take it? You've seen Ascension come back from bigger deficits, and will they manage to continue it? We'll have to see. Mackie, good control, tries to take it around. Havoc doesn't quite get it to work. Verky passing this into the center. Only one to reach it is Jez. Faxi. Tries to backboard it. Havoc getting a good control. Leaves it for Verki who plays it into Hodge. Getting a demo on him. Verki seems to be the demo man for uh, irrelevant esports it seems. <laughs> and Havoc seems to be the demo man for Ascension Trinity. Jez doing a good job of pushing that towards their opposition's field. They need to start putting on the pressure. Jez needing to beat Verki. Ball falls across the opposite side of the field. Havoc being beaten by Mackie, and it seems like an opportunity again for Isle of the Esports. But there's still two goals up trying to defend that lead as much as they can in the upcoming three minutes to equalize this series. Maybe extend the lead, but it just falls off the post. And it is Ascension Trini trying, trying to get out of the defense now, trying to create some offenses. And we're definitely seeing that. Just not a powerful shot. Verky in the end with a save. Hodge with an overcommit. And Mackie with the third for of the Esports. That's how fast the game of Rocket League can go. Mackie gets a second goal on her name. And uh, well, a good total play by her. Brilliant control. Takes it one way. Takes it the other. Takes it around a defender. Finally slots it in the near post. No one able to get past or get to the ball in time. Mackie getting the 3-0 that they need. Opportunity is Mackie taps this down once more. Faxi getting the fourth. It looks like this game is ILVs. 
That looks like Assassin Train. They're really struggling in this game after they've won the last game. It looks like this series is going to a best of three after this game. It would mean that we go in two all series. And well, it's not the game of Assassin's Trinity, and definitely it is for our v Esports, just banging all the goals in. Looks like one uh, Havoc is AFK just uh, deciding to drop down his controller and, you know, take a chill for a bit uh, and uh, prepare for next game, it looks like. I'm not sure if there seems to be a disconnect issue. I'm hoping not, but as there's already been a few goals, we can't exactly do anything about it. He will have to try and get back in time. But it does seem that we will be going to put it into the the um, best of three, like you mentioned. This is going to a 2-2. Good control. Havoc is back. And it goes top corner straight from Fatsy. Three goals for him. Mackie getting two. Yeah, Havoc is back. But it's way too late with the challenge, leaving the goal wide open. Hodge is too late back either. And well, that is the fifth hour of the esports. Well, it's not a great game for us in Trinity, to say the least. Five goals down now, oh, only three minutes in the game, two minutes left. Well, the only up, uh, upside of being five goals down here is that you still have a lot of time left, but you need to yeah, score five goals. I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to be really hard, even for a team like Trinity. But yeah, it's, uh, we're going to see. Can Hodge score this goal? He can't. One minute and 40 seconds that will uh, remain for Alva Esports to, to defend a 5 4 lead. Hodge taking the shot. Mackie just unable to clear it out. Hits it up though, getting the save. Jez getting beat by Verki. Like you mentioned, this game seems to be sealed. I think Ascension don't need to worry about it. It is going to be 2 2 after this, so they just need to win two games, as do uh, irrelevant Esports. We will have to see. Who favors and who fears to being able to win the, the entire best of seven because whoever does has a chance of auto promotion. I, d I think you mentioned um, yesterday that whoever wins, uh, or if the, the first and second are able to auto promote, uh, Dennis, um, can you, let unless me, was, um, that, <laughs> was that something you reminded me of? Fergie doesn't hesitate. To score more, Faxi with a brilliant read, Verki with an even better one off the po the crossbar. Sorry, what a goal indeed! Yeah, what a goal indeed. Um, I think it's the third place of uh, Division One only to uh, play a promo relegation. So I think the the final places, the top two, will go to uh, the Champs Division. So it's either Alvi Esports or Assassin Trinity. The one who wins this series will go to the Champs Division. As you see, a great flick by Arch, beating both defenders in the goal. At least getting one back, but it's way too late now. They still need to score five more goals in 41 seconds. Well, I can't see that happen. They just need to mentally set going into game uh, five, that is, to, you know, uh, get the series to their end and in the end get themselves the match point because next game will be the game for match point a really important game maybe one of the most important games of this series but yeah both teams really equal to each other well maybe it does not show in this game but definitely we've seen Assassin's Trinity playing better the last games and uh, yeah they can still score a lot of goals uh, hopefully we can see a lot much better uh, Assassin's Trinity than in this game in the next game indeed and Quickly, like you mentioned, first and second do auto promote um, uh, through the playoffs. The important thing here, as we see ILV Esports taking the the game 6 1, now putting it 2 2. The important thing here is there is a prize pool now up for up for uh, grabs to these uh, winning to the winning team. So whoever gets first manages to take themselves the Euros. Again, thank you for uh, two Gedalians for allowing us to give some money to uh, the Division One prize pool and a greater amount to the Champions Division prize pool. Um, Ascension Trinity do need to play a lot better than they had this game in order to even remotely get um, back in time. Uh, there is two games in it at this point. Maybe three if they're uh, lucky. But it is immensely close if they don't get their win. Yeah, it could go to Game 7. It is a really close series so far. And uh, I want to welcome everyone here in the B stream. If um, if I have a quick look on the A stream, it is we Vicious leading with 3-1 in Game 5 now. They are uh, they are, they are equalized in the Game 5. So uh, we Vicious having, an, uh, you know, maybe going to the final, playing one of these teams. 
But for now, we are, we are about to get into game five of this series. Of course, it's ILV Esports against Assassin Trinity. Uh, yeah, two games each. It can go any way. The battle of match point about to happen here. It's going to be a great one. And I can't wait for this game to begin. So much pressure lies on both teams. Match point can be... Well, it is match point now, isn't it? I'm, I'm, no, it's 2-2. It, no, it's, it's it's it is 2-2. I somehow thought that um, Ascension lost the game before that one. So it is 2-2, like I said. But <laughs> look! Doing a brilliant job of getting that first goal for them very early on. Well done to him. They're going from the series score to the in-game score. Havoc will get the very first goal for Ascension Trina. The quick start from them. Very great goal from Havoc. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's now Assassin's Trinity, of course, leading with 1 0, trying to get the match point to their end. They look a lot stronger. They did a mental reset. I saw uh, the players from Assassin's Trinity just waiting with Red Ring up from last game. Just maybe they had some kind of a speech for, uh, you know, really important winning this match. How important winning this match can be. And definitely it shows because they are now in uh, in the lead, but they can't slow down. It's still RV Esports they're facing. And we saw other esports, they are not slowing down either. We saw them winning 6 1 last game, but now we see a great bump. Jazz just can't get the hit. And we see the real one. It's a 2v2 situation. Welcome, welcome to the B stream. We're now playing playoffs. It's 2v2. Uh, we've switched it up last second because uh, we ran out of ideas. Um, but no, Havoc and Faxi have just not giving in. It's Arjun Jazz against Verki and Mackie to get this next goal. Very important. I don't think Jez or Hodge are entirely twos players. I could be wrong, but again, I'm not sure the same with Mackie and Virky. We will have to see how it goes. I don't want a camera angle from Hava or Virky, please. I want to get I in the action. It's not a... <laughs> Mackie taking this into the center. Hodge doing a good job with the block. Jez with an opportunity, popping it over Mackie. Virky getting the block again. Two of them here. Opportunity as Jez gets the nice 50. Hodge pops it high. Verky getting a nice hit. Mackie beating him. Has the goal with a double touch. Very well done to Mackie. Yeah, and now we have a free VT situation again. Assassin Trinity lost the 2v2 against RV Esports. I don't think Jez and Hodge are both two's mains. But it is RV Esports. They have equalized in the in, the, in this game now, after a 2v2 situation, and it can go anyway again. It's all open, and uh, well, it's just interesting to see who can get the second goal here, who can get the second goal on their team, and who will go to match point. It's a very interesting series so far, very close series, and uh, well, can't wait for this game to unfold. Jazz hits it high, Virky getting the clear off the backboard, oh, uh, Havoc clearing it once does get beat by Verki, but Hodges is eh, swiftly able to get a center ball. Jez taking the shot. Faxi with a brilliant save. Reading it perfectly. Jez getting bumped. Couldn't get his shot off. Havoc taking around one. Jez rotating back. Leaving this for Hodge. Passing it off the backboard. Havoc needs to time his attempt well. Playing it into the center. Verki missing. Dangerous now. Hodge needs to get there. Jez instead it's it down, Mackie missing, Virky getting a backflip, backflipping once again, getting the save this time, still anyone's game. Yeah, definitely anyone's game here, Faxi needs to clear this and does a really good job, goes for the solo play and in the end scores it himself. So why is it two second goal now for RV Esports? And that's a great play from Faxi, just beating all the players of Assassin Trinity and there with two minutes left, putting themselves up with one goal in this very important game five to go into match point. RV Esports doing a very good job. Hodge takes it up. Can he beat them? Doesn't quite get the 50 he wants. Havoc keeps this high. Doesn't get the beat. Verki hits it high. Drops it down. Opportunity there as Hodge gets a great save. Hodge unable to make much from this. Faxi pushing it forwards. Passing it into the center. Virky there getting another pass. It wasn't necessary. 
really could have just taken the shot. Havoc getting a hit upfield. Faxi playing it to the side. Hodge clearing it onto the backboard. Faxi missing. Jez opportunity hitting it wide. Havoc's turn hitting it. Just missing top corner. Mackey clearing this downfield. Hodge getting a great hit upfield. Up in the air, sorry. Kirky getting the 50. Hits it in the center. Kirky again. Havoc getting the 50 he needed. There is a minute remaining. They really need this goal. They really do. 50 seconds left for us. As yes, they are in offense trying to get the very important goal to get this game at least to an overtime. Already saw a very good comeback from Trinity in game one. But now they are here. Game five. They've played a lot today already. Maybe a bit tired. They can't slow down though. Hodge had a great opportunity. Should have scored them maybe. 30 seconds and I'll be eSports doing everything they can to defend their goal. Maybe score one more, but they definitely need to focus on defense now. Havoc hitting this forward. Hodge getting his opportunity missed by Verki. Mackie hitting this up. Havoc with a good clear. Still a matter of seconds to go. Havoc needing to get a great 50. Doesn't work out. This time it's Hodge. Bouncing it into the center. Jez had to jump. Didn't get it to work. Go on. It floats. <laughs> Faxi clears it. Gets the win for ILV. We are now 3-2. It's match point for ILV. Can they take the series? Giving themselves an opportunity at first place. Well, they have two chances to do that. They can win this game and they can win the next game if they lose this one. But they definitely do not want to get into a game seven situation and definitely Assassin Trinity Ooh. will try to do that. But um, a quick update yeah, from the stream. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> it is We Vicious who are your very first grand finalists and will go to the champion division and they will face either RV Esports or Assassin Trinity from this series. We'll see who's going to be RV Esports. We're on match point now or Ascension Trinity. We need to win two games in a row. It is a very tense series, a very close series, and I can't wait for this game six to get to happen. People are saying in chat, some of this could go to a game seven or it could just be taken right here, right now. Will it is the question that is all on everyone's minds. They may believe it will. But they have to see it to believe it. Mackie and the rest of his team needing to hold up and win this next game. But Hodge and the Ascension Trinity are going to have to battle as best as they can to prove you all wrong. Yeah, this is now the battle of the strongest. Who's going to win this? Who's going to get out of playoffs into the third place game? Well, at least both of all the teams here do have a chance on promotion going into you know the third place game but you really want to get into the final you're so close already you both teams have done incredibly well in league play and now here they are they need to win uh, especially as a trinity need to win of esports they have two chances they can lose this one but you know for comfort they want to win this one and just instantly close down this series but it is just he wants to you know get his team up front it's a goalless game so far, and it can go anyway. This is going to be tough. A minute gone. A lot of opportunities given. Nothing has amounted from it. Ascension Trinity getting the only shot, however. The ball falls into the center. Faxi takes his shot, hitting it wide, clearing the goal line, and securing the first goal, potentially the only goal needed to win them this series. No defending the net as there should have been someone maybe on back post staying there waiting for the shot but no one was there. That's an easy goal for Faxi from the back wall and uh, gets his team up front in match point but straight from the kickoff. It is Assassin Trinity trying to fight back. It's a great clear from Mackey and well Havoc needs to rotate back. One off minute now in the game of Esports just scored the very first goal of this game in their match point. So yeah, it's now Assassin Trinity. They might be under the pressure here. They need to score sooner or later, but they can't just stick back. They picked up the offense. They need to keep up the offense going and they're uh, trying to score goals and, uh, you know, eventually winning this game. Faxi taking it up field. Verki needing to be patient. 
Getting the touch, getting the beat on the 50. Faxi hitting it high. Hodge the one to clear it. Falls to Jez, getting the clear upfield. Mackey takes it over one. Needs this good landing. Can he beat Havoc? No. Trinity have an opportunity. Havoc jumping too far. Unfortunately, not close enough to the ball. Faxi getting a good clear. Verky getting the 50. Mackey missing an opportunity now for Trinity. Faxi with the brilliant save, making it so Havoc couldn't get the shot off that he wanted. Otherwise, it was 1-1 in this game. Yeah, half time pass now, and it is Assassin Trinity still fighting for that goal. It's just so hard to score against this solid RV Esports side. It is possible, though, they have shown it, but now they have two minutes left. Maybe the last two minutes of this series and the last two minutes. Well, as it's I say, done. That, it is Jazz getting the equalizer in this game. Very well done. Havoc pinches that forward. Stops Faxi from really popping this out. And manages to leave it for Jez. Giving him a brilliant opportunity to secure the equalizer. Yeah, and it is as Andrew Trinity. They were really keen to get that goal. Did everything they can and eventually a full fell. But they can't lose it now. They can't slow down because it's still LV for trying to fight back. Trying to get some good offenses going. But to secure the win to their side. Assassin Trinity trying to do everything they can to get this series to a game 7. It is a game 6 now. They need to win this. It's all equalized now. 1 minute 40 seconds for both teams here. It is especially Assassin Trinity trying to get a goal. Jez had the shot opportunity. Verki getting the save. Getting it around Havoc. Faxi on the ball. Takes the pass. Hodge reading it beautifully. Doesn't quite get the second hit. Havoc dropping it down. Faxi waiting. Leaving it for Jez. Mackey clearing it out. Hodge with the shot. Almost top corner. Faxi with a brilliant save. Verki to Faxi. The ball falls to Havoc. Gets it under him. Does... Faxi and Faxi now a limited boost needs to get a center pass manages it doesn't get the demo however almost got themselves in the lead once again it is such a high pace game every goal can be fatal now but yeah it is now the offense for the esports of the esports if they score maybe it is series done and dusted now it's dropping in front of the goal but they just can't score 30 seconds Assassin Trinity just hoping this game maybe could go to an overtime because they're really struggling now. They're getting out of defense now, trying to get an offense going, trying to get a really important goal. But it's definitely six really yeah, nervous players, I think, on the pitch we're seeing now. Will we see an overtime? Or will we see someone take a goal in these last few seconds? Hodge hits it high. Jez is there. Mackie misses as well as Jez. Faxi with the pass, Hodge with a brilliant block, it falls into the center, Faxi had the opportunity, Havoc takes a shot, we hit overtime, Well, it's 1-1. I have to say, even I am nervous in this overtime, especially the players now, especially for Assassin Trinity, they just won't go away, if LV scores here, they will go to the final, and Assassin Trinity, they will try to get this series to a game 7. Ascension Trinity really passive now, just waiting for the offenses. But yeah, they can't just stick in defense. They need to go in offense anytime soon. But definitely, it has been a great series. Now in game six, overtime, match point for ILV. Someone's called. It's going to be a minute and 23 seconds in of overtime is when the goal is scored. And he called it's going to be ILV to take it. I'm, I'm holding you to that, mate. I've, I've read it. Mackey getting a nice 50. Faxi going to try and pop it over. Jez. Hitting this high. Can have it get there? No, it falls into the center. No one seems to be back properly in net for ILV. Have it with the shot. Faxi getting one save. Mackie unable to get the next block. Hodge on the ball. Can he do it? Shoots it down. Verky with a comfortable save. And so far, it is Assassin Trinity having a bit of the upper side in the overtime. No real danger created, though. They have to watch out for LV Esports. They can just get you from the counter attack. But now he just with an unfortunate miss. But still, it is Havoc trying to keep the offense going. Trying to, you know, have a hope for game seven. Because that's everything that rests. One, they've the done it. 
Turkey, it is our eSports going to the final of Division 1. I, the guy in chat was about six seconds off, but he called <laughs> who was taking it. It is game <laughs> It is game six. ILV win 4-2. Brilliant and absolutely well done to both teams that have played. Ascension Trinity really need to fight against... Um, I, but who was it? <laughs> I've lost track. We too vicious. much has gone. Too much has gone. Gone on. We vicious uh, in the we, final, aren't they? Uh, yeah, we vicious in the final. Glasgow Storm in the Glasgow Storm is who Ascension Trinity need to face off against. Will they do it? We will have to find out. This is us. And this is it from us on the B stream. The A stream will now um, have the rest of the games being played. No, up next is Ascension Trinity against Glasgow Storm. We will see you all there.